day. Welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. Grace and peace be unto you. Today we look at Psalm 41 verse 4 through verse 13. As we have been talking through this uh, new season, through this new year. Now the enemy will make us feel all kinds of different ways. And sometimes make us become anxious or make us feel abandoned, ashamed, or even betrayed. And today, yes, truly, it is a lesson of betrayal. When we see that Jesus Christ himself was betrayed by Judas, he was also betrayed. Um, David was betrayed by his own son, by his own familiar friend. So Jesus understood what David was going through because he himself was betrayed. We find that in St. John 13 and verse 18, as we said, Judas, one of Jesus' 12 disciples, had spent three years learning from Jesus, traveling with Jesus, eating with Jesus. And of course, he was the financial person for the entire group. Eventually, this familiar friend betrayed Jesus. And this is the situation that David faced when he wrote this psalm, even though the story is to be found in Second Samuel 15, verse 4 and 12. Or even his friend, Ahithophel, in 2 Samuel 16, verse 15 through verse 23. In Psalm 41, verse 4, it says, I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My enemies spoke evil of me. When will he die and his name perish? And if he comes to see me, he speaks lies. His heart gathers iniquity to itself. When he goes out, he tells it. All who hate me will whisper against me. Against me, they demise, sorry, they devise my hurt. An evil disease, they say, cling to him. And now that he lies down, he will rise up no more even my own familiar friend in whom I trusted. Who ate my bread and lifted up his heel against me. But you, O Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up that I may repay them. By this I know that you are well pleased with me because my enemies does not triumph over me. As for me, you uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. So in verse 9, we see where David says, Listen, this person ate bread with me. He is my familiar friend in whom I have trusted. We see all of this when it comes to Judas and Jesus. The close friend who had turned against David has been his own son Absalom or even another friend we have, Ahithophel. We find his story, as we say, in Second Samuel 15 and 16. So Jesus cares Jesus knows what we go through and so David made a lament to him David called upon him but Jesus said yes I know I have this in my own life Jesus knew how we feel when we are betrayed he experienced it firsthand and no wonder he is our great high priest that can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities because 
be loath. This is not an, an uncommon experience for the people who we have in our lives to betray us. This is not an uncommon experience in the life of Jesus Christ. He is the captain of the ship and yet his follower betrayed him. Yes, of all the unkindness, kindness cut is the treachery of one who has been an intimate friend. It is very hard to take the betrayal by one or ones who has been closely associated with us. David turned away from the one who had, as it were, stabbed him in the back. But he looks instead to the Lord for mercy. He says, others were deserting me. But one, when they do, he didn't back himself in a corner and become isolated. He called upon God. So as we say, many feelings may come to us throughout this year. It's times of uncertainty. But at the same time, we need to look to God. He will not desert us, but he will remain faithful and truthful. It seems a strange request when we get to, to verse 10 when David is saying Lord do something to the enemy. He says but you O Lord be merciful to me. He says raise me up that I may repay them. And remember the Bible says we shouldn't repay evil for evil. But what we must remember, David was the Lord's anointed king. He is the ruler of Israel. So it was his duty to deal with seditions. It was his duty to deal with betrayal. It was his duty to deal with insurrection. So as the king, he has to discipline those who raise up against him. As an individual, he would have chosen to be obligated maybe to forgive as it were his enemy. But here as king, he is obligated to suppress any attempts to overthrow the government. And so anybody who came against him as the king, he has that right to protect his kingship. He is the ruler. He is the leader. David sees, anyway, the failure of his enemy's plot as an indication that the Lord's favor was towards him. Many times the enemy will rise up against us. We will not be beaten down because the Lord favors us. So he does not allow the enemy to destroy us. And so David said, you have upholded me in my integrity. And he says, you have set me before your face forever. The Lord sustaining grace assures safety in this life and a standing in his presence of the heavenly king forever. So we have great confidence as this psalmist and king. He raises own voice in praise, in adoration, and thanksgiving to Jehovah, the covenant keeper, the God of Israel, 
David said, He is worthy to be worshipped from everlasting to everlasting. And he said, Amen. Amen. We too can sing such praise that God in his infinite mercy will protect us regardless of what the enemy does, whether he is a foe or whether he is a familiar friend or a straight out enemy. So yes, when these things come upon us, whether abandonment or anxiety or even betrayal, God will stand by his children. God bless you. Please subscribe. It is free. Please continue to visit my channel Daily Med with Lady V. Also, please like, share, and comment.